Well, good morning, everyone, and thank you for joining me today at Juanette's Crafting Corner. In today's video, I'm gonna do a little flip through of my Ireland journal. And in my last video, I showed you how I constructed this three-tier layer cover. Real quick, the front cover is closed with Velcro. It's got a nice little picture in there and a pocket, some coins there. On this little pocket here is just a bulb pen in which I also have a little charm of a camera and that holds that next section closed when it's sitting on the bookcase and it has a little pocket there. Again, thank you to Mare over at Lilac Pages for gifting me the front and back cover so that I could make this journal. As you open it up to the first page, we have a nice picture here and a pocket that illustrates everywhere we went on in the country of Ireland. I've got a little pocket here that I could put something in. My plane tickets here. And just a little picture that I took when I got at the airport. This is a little flip here with a brochure of the oldest pub in Ireland in which we had lunch and it flips out. And then when you flip it over, it reveals a picture of St. Patrick's Cathedral, which we visited. Then there is a couple of pictures here that I took, and I apologize for the glare on these pictures, but I do need some good lighting for this video. And there is a flip up and a flip out with that. And then at the beginning of each signature is our itinerary for that day. Here's another picture that I took of St. Patrick's Cathedral and the stained glass window. And then we moved on to Trinity College and we visited the Book of Kells. There's a little pocket there and then a pocket here with three pictures. In Ireland, or in Dublin, there are shamrocks on the lamppost. Picture of a dessert that we had. And then this is the currency. Uh, I have five pounds there, a couple of them from the Bank of Ireland, a 10 pound note, and then a five pound and I just stuck them in a CD pocket there. A recipe for Irish soda bread, some facts on Ireland. I put a pocket over here with a little tuck spot. And then I have pictures here and I doubled some of them up because I had so many pictures. This also flips out. I'm gonna bring that up just a little bit so you can see that. And again, I apologize for the glare, but I need good lighting. Then that flips up, and then there's another little tuck spot there. Then we went on to Belfast, and this is where the Titanic Titanic was built and there's a museum there and then this page let's see if I can figure this out yeah it folds out all the way and this is also a picture that I took and then it just folds back in upon itself And again, this page also 
folds out to reveal. Let me pull this forward. I'm running out of room here. Um, but it reveals the whole ship of the Titanic. And it just folds up and centers there. And then there's also some images and pictures on the back there. place for me to write some more notes in both of these areas. There's a little pocket here. This was the menu that was served in second class on the Titanic, 1912. There's a little flip out here. This is the telegram about them hitting the iceberg. And then this is a picture of some of the people that went with us on the tour. And again, I'm gonna go fast through the pictures because not everybody wanted their picture to be shown on YouTube. This is a menu of a dinner and I just yellow out what I specifically had, my hotel room. Here's a picture of me at the Giants Causeway. And this flips out. to reveal the whole map. So what you do for this kind of a thing, you would just glue what I did on the back of this cover. This is a picture I took, but I just sandwiched it in there. And then I put glue on the back and then folded it up. And then it folds up upon itself and fits real nicely into the journal. A little ticket here. This is me up on the on the stone cliffs there, the stone, oh whatever that's called. <laughs> oh, and then we went on to Duluth Castle. There's a little envelope there with information about it, and isn't that just stunning? And then I've put information about the different places we went here and there so I can look back on it. Some Italian paper there. And again, some information about the castle and I hinged it with just some fabric, both of these pictures, that one and that one. Then this is a little flip out. This was kind of fun, something I, I did that was different. I hinged it, and again, I'm gonna close real quick because of the people there, but I hinged it with some eyelash trim, and then I put a coffee stain doily there. Again, information about the castle, of you looking out to part of the castle. I did a die cut here that I glued there. Again, picture of the participants that went on the trip on a, it's tucked in a little envelope there. Receipt, and again, another picture of the castle itself by the sea. I added lace here to create that little pocket. More of that beautiful Italian paper. This is a bag in which I had bought something and I just tucked some pictures in there. I had sewn it onto this page of this Irish book page here. One of the places we went for dinner here, I hung a little dangle with a little passport chain. And then we're on to day number four. I took a bag where I had bought something and I cut it up and added it into the journal with a little tuck spot there. And I added this little hinge there so that this tag would not fall out. So it just goes in that little pocket there and then just slides underneath that little tag so it won't fall out. And then there's a doily here that I had bought and I stitched it into the signature paper clip here with a tag that I made using the box of the 
chocolates that I had bought. And then a picture of my ornament that I bought in Ireland. That's my son's name. So I took a picture of that because I don't see his name very often. It's a French name. And uh, this was a coffee house there in Galway. Here in this signature, I started out with folding a handkerchief into a triangle and added a little tuck spot there with a postcard. And it did go down in there when I <laughs> originally had it in there. Oh, I'll fiddle with that in a little bit. <laughs> And then this is a picture of my friend Christy and me. Isn't that beautiful? This is uh, Kilmore Abbey. And then there's a picture of her and her husband. Just a fantastic couple, fantastic couple. And just a couple of the pictures that I glued onto pages inside the Abbey itself. This is pictures of the garden. Let me just pull this up just a tiny bit. And I added lace. Some of these papers are digital cuts. Um, again, just pictures, music. This was fun. I think I told you about this. This was my nickname growing up, Netty, And I had found that on an old music paper. I made a little tag here. This was from one of the little charms I bought, and I just added this little piece here, some ribbon there, a wax seal, some vellum to make the pocket. This is, um, I think, handmade paper. There's a little belly band there that I could tuck something in. And then another little writing spot. Here, I added this little charm here. What I did is I bought a key ring with three different charms on it and I dismantled it and I added them on these little tags. I have a tutorial on how I make those. And then this was my room for that night. Then we moved on to the Cliffs of Moor there's a picture there. My only selfie that I took. And I tried to put a map of where we were located in Ireland as we moved around. And then again, this is a picture where this flips up and there's some writing place uh, spot there. And then this flips down and it gives you some information about the cliffs themselves. Then we moved on to another castle. I stitched some green fabric here. There's a couple of geese there, or uh, swans I meant. Beautiful castle there. I made a tag here. There, my friend and I, Christy, again. Little vellum tuck spot there. This is one of the pictures of the thatched houses, and I just hinged it. What I did is I put two pictures together and adhered them with double-sided tape and then hinged them to the page. Here I have a little doily that I sprayed with a green paint, the flag of Ireland, and then we went on to a deer. And this really had a lot of beautiful thatched houses in it. Of course, I bought some chocolate uh, candied orange. Love that stuff. And then here's just some more pictures of the thatched homes. This is a little doily here. And then I hinged an envelope here and added a, a picture of, I think that's three different thatched homes in there, into that little envelope. Just 
just a little part of a little thing of butter. And then we went on to Kil Killarney, and there's a little doily there. Hotel we stayed at, a picture of one of my meals. Look at that chicken sandwich, that's huge. I did a little bit of a, a lace here. Those look like uh, the shamrocks or the clovers. And again, another one of those little charms there I added. Then we started to um, the ring of ring of Kerry, which is you know this this area of Ireland. And we drove there. We had a lovely tour guide. Just again, more pictures. We had lunch here at the Blind Piper. I like this picture, be nice or leave. And then this is one of the desserts that we had with the meal. And then this is just a little pull out of a beef and Guinness stew, the recipe of it. And I just hinged here some, a picture of a couple of forks and knives in cuisine. This was a paper bag from something that I had bought and I hinged it in there. Again, pictures of the group. And uh, this was a doily or a handkerchief, excuse me, a handkerchief that I bought. And you've got a little shamrock down there and I stitched it in. I colored it uh, like a light green there. And then we went on to this waterfall here. Here, these are some uh, petals that you can buy at Joann's or uh, Hobby Lobby here in the United States. I think they're for weddings, but I just glued a bunch of them behind this picture of me uh, just to add a little bit of more dimension. And then here's a picture of some of the women that went on the trip. And this is a piece of napkin that I decoupaged on my friend Christy, she doesn't mind having her picture and neither do these lovely people, Lance and Laura. Again, one of the meals that um, we had, they had fantastic food, just lovely food. This is a Tim Holtz little adornment. Look at that little fork, isn't that cute? And it, it lays pretty flat. And then this picture flips up and I just, you know, put in what I had had at the meal and how much it cost and who I was with for that meal. And now we're on to the Blarney Castle. Here, I did pretty much the same thing that I did with that other little brochure. I only glued the back of it and then you're able to pull it out and read what is in there. And it just folds up real nice into the book. Yours truly at the Blarney Castle. There's just a little fabric uh, ruffle that I made. Look at this, how green it is. Did a little stenciling back here with Mossy Meadow uh, stamping up color. And this is inside the Blarney Castle. <laughs> Here's Truly, again, in trouble. This was on top of the castle. We, we uh, walked all the way up to the top and then it had a beautiful, just a stunning view. Yeah, this is the circular staircase that we went up. And then this is my friends, Christy and Troy and I on the staircase. The view from the top. And what I did with this, let me just pull this over. For these pictures, it's a set of three of me starting to lay down to kiss the Blarney Stone 
and then a gentleman helping me. There was men there to help you so you didn't fall down this hole here. And then there I am kissing the Blarney stone. And just so you know, they did sanitize the area of the stone after everyone kissed it. And then this just folds back in on itself. And let me just show you. So see, I just added a little bit of shamrock paper on the back of it. So that's a fun way to hinge photos in a, in a book. There's some Tim Holtz vellum here. And this is the Blarney House. This is another little fabric thing that I sewed with just a little bit of lace at the top. And then I did a big piece of lace here. Part of a, a trim there. And the interesting thing is, so in Ireland and maybe other places too, when it says crafts, I was thinking, oh, a craft store. No, it's a souvenir shop, which is fine. That's great, but I was like hoping there would be a craft store. And then this, we stayed at this River Court Hotel, and that is my breakfast and the view that I had that morning for breakfast. Oh, it was stunning, just beautiful. And then we went on to uh, Powers Court, and there's a little pamphlet explaining about that. And then the day before we had to leave, we had to do a COVID test. So there's my negative test. And again, onto Powers Court. I'm gonna do a tutorial on this tag. I love it. I think it came out beautiful, but again, who can go wrong with that gorgeous um, Italian paper? This is um, tracing paper that I coffee stained. And I tried to embellish almost every page. I did a little fabric flip there. Let me see. Yes, I covered the person that did not want her picture. I put a little thing over it. So yeah, here's our group here. And these people did not mind having their picture in the in, on YouTube. And then this is the gardens here. Nineteenth century gardens. This is from a stamp book, and these are stamps of Ireland. And then this is some coffee staining that I did on paper. Again, more beautiful pictures. That's my friends uh, Christy and Troy. I left some of the threads, and then another fabric flip here. And again, I covered the person who didn't want her picture on YouTube, which is sad because then now, I mean, I got that thing there covering that picture up, but I am I know, I, I understand. And that oh, I covered her up again. <laughs> oh, this was a little card that I also received from Mayor when I got the journal cover. This is our driver, Kevin, and uh, I just added that little hat there. And that, there's his card. And I just sewed that little button on there with a little cluster here. There's a pocket here I could add something. Here's my last little charm from that keychain. Another little card that I received from Mayor. And I've got a tuck spot here. This is my return ticket. Um, let's see, did I show that? Yeah. Then that's on to, from Atlanta to Phoenix. This is in the airport in Atlanta. This is some, um, what is that called? Uh, ooh, texture paste that I colored and then a skeleton leaf here, a little bit of lace, the word Ireland, and then just some observations that I had about Ireland being just so extremely clean and how trusting the people were. Um, the Reign of Fire was filmed there. And then this is a map showing Northern Ireland and then the rest of Ireland. And uh, 
anyway so i hope you enjoyed that little flip through it is just it was just delightful to make it was a trip of a lifetime with these people i i think i've said i've been on a total of i think five or six trips with these uh people and they are just delightful to travel with and um Coming up in the next year, we're going to be going to Singapore and Malaysia, and I'm not sure where else, but we're going to be doing that trip. So thanks for joining me today. I appreciate each and every one of you, and I will see you guys again soon. Thanks. Bye-bye.